Hello dear students, respected teachers. Welcome to SPSS Online Learning. I welcome you all to the English Learning class. Both the first and second language English students can make use of this class. Today I am going to present English Tense System. What is Tense System? Why do we use this? What is the need of tense system to every second language or first language English students? Let us see this. Welcome to English tense system. In some languages, verb tenses are not very important. And in other languages, they do not even exist. But it is not the same in English. In English language, the concept of tense is very, very important. You need to use the particular tense in the particular time only or in the particular situation only. Otherwise, the meaning will be different and it becomes, you know, wrong. Dear students, don't go confused with the name of tense and with the time. Tense is different. Time is different. Let me clear this. It is important not to confuse the name of a verb tense with the way we used to talk about time. So, it is very important not to go confused by the name of a verb tense with the way we use to talk about time. For example, a present tense does not always refers to present time. This is very important. Please make note of it or take a screenshot of this. Present tense does not always refer to present time. For example, I think it rains tomorrow. I think it rains tomorrow. Here, rains is present simple, but it refers here to future time. So, future time that is tomorrow. I think it rains tomorrow. So, rains is present simple, but it refers to future time. One more example I give you, dear students. A past tense does not always refer to past time. For example, if I had some money now, I could buy a car. If I had some money now, I could buy a car. Had is past simple. But it refers here present time. It refers here to present time, that is now. In that way, you need not or you must not go confused with present tense with the present time, past tense with past time. Now, I take you to basic tenses. Verbs come in three different tenses they are present tense, past tense future tense or future time. So, first of all, let us know about past tense, then present tense, then future tense in order. When do we use the tense? That is very, very important. Dear students, this is very, very important to understand when do we use all these tenses. First of all, the past is used to describe the things that have already happened. That is past tense. The present tense is used to describe the things that are happening right now. The future tense describes things that have yet to happen. So this is what, dear students, this is the basic knowledge you will have to have. And I'll bring you to this. I'll take you to this in detail. Example. I have given you three examples for simple past or pa uh, say, uh, simple past, present, simple present, and simple future. Simple past example. I learned the guitar last year itself. I learned the guitar from today onwards. That is simple present tense. I will learn the guitar tomorrow. This is simple future tense. So, 
the first one is simple past second one is simple present and the third one is simple future tense dear students here is a table for you to learn english grammar tense as i said there are three tenses past present and future tenses in past tenses there are four subtypes they are simple past past continuous past perfect past perfect continuous tense but the past perfect continuous but the past perfect continuous tense is not in use in modern english grammar that's why i'm not teaching you here in present tense there are four subtypes simple present tense present continuous present perfect and again present perfect continuous tense this present perfect continuous tense is not in usage in modern english grammar instead of present perfect continuous tense we use present continuous only now we have future tense again in in future tense you have four types simple future tense future continuous tense future perfect tense and future perfect continuous tense instead of future perfect continuous tense we use future continuous tense only right let us see now the exercises on this dear students one table is given to you by using the verb see in simple past i saw the same becomes i was seen in past continuous the same becomes i had seen in the perfect past perfect likewise in simple present i be, it becomes i see in present continuous it becomes i am seeing in the present perfect it becomes i have seen in simple future it becomes i will see in future continuous it becomes i will be seeing in future perfect it becomes i will have seen this example will help you to solve any of the exercises so kindly make note of it now i take you to one by one first of all simple past tense when do we use simple past tense simple past tense is used for actions that started and finished for a specific time in the past time so the action which started and ended at a specific time in the past there is a rule for simple past tense what is that rule the rule is very clear there will be a subject in the sentence verb in the second form and the object so that becomes simple past tense for example we learnt grammar we is subject learnt is verb in the second form and object is grammar we learnt grammar is an example for simple past tense one more example for the same i read novel i is subject read is the verb in the second form past tense object is novel i read novel now i take you to past continuous tense dear students when do we use past continuous tense past continuous tense is also called past progressive past continuous tense is also called past progressive it is used to show that an ongoing past action it is used to show ongoing past action was you know past action which was happening at a specific moment of interruption so that is what you need to know the the two ongoing actions which was happening at the same time that is for that you know it is past continuous tense a past continuous tense is used rule of the past continuous tense is like this there will be a subject was or were depending on the nature of subject 
we use either was or were. For example, if subject is singular, we use was. If subject is plural, we use were. Plus, verb in the fourth form, that is present participle is used here. Plus, object. Example, we were learning grammar. Sheila was learning grammar. Ramu was learning grammar. Ramu and Krishna were learning grammar. Becomes an example for past continuous tense. One more example. Sheila was learning grammar. Here, Sheila is singular. That's why was is used. Was learning grammar. Now, I take you past perfect tense. Past perfect refers to a time earlier than before now. Earlier than before now. It is used to make it clear that one event happened before another in the past. One event happened before another event in the past. It does not matter which event is mentioned first. The tense makes it clear which one happened first when I arrive for example when i arrived in the office so when i arrived in the office that is past tense i had arrived that is past perfect rule here subject will be there had plus verb form in, in the verb in the third form that is past perfect then object for example we had learned grammar so here we use had irrespective of singularity or plurality of the subject. One more example for you. Sheila had learnt grammar. Subject is Sheila had learnt is, you know, a third form of verb that is past perfect. So this is what, dear students, you need to know about. Now, I take you to simple present tense. Let us see. When do we use simple present tense? We use simple present tense when an action is happening right now or when it happens regularly. Rule. Subject, verb in the first form and object will be there. We learn grammar. Here, we learn grammar. We is subject. Learn is verb in the first form. Object is grammar. And if the subject is singular, what to do? If subject is singular, then we'll have to add yes or es to the first form of verb depending on the verb form. So, Sheila learns grammar. I learn grammar. Sheila learns grammar. So, this is what dear students, simple present tense. Now, I take you to past, sorry, present continuous tense. The present continuous tense is used to tell about the action which is happening at present, right now. So, at that time, we use present continuous tense. Now, let us see the rule for present continuous tense. Here, subject will be there. Depending on the subject, am, is, are, any one of these auxiliary verb will be used but depending on the subject we need to use for example i am he is raju is raju and krishna are like that then fourth form of verb verb plus ing that will be used plus object for example sheila is learning grammar we are learning english grammar one more example for the same present continuous tense. We are learning grammar. So, we is plural. That's why I have used are. In the previous example, Sheila was singular. That's why I used is. Now, I take you to present perfect tense. Present perfect tense describes an action or situation that started in the past and continues in the present. For example, I have lived in Bengaluru since 1999. Rule. In the present perfect tense, there will be a subject, there will be has or have, 
depending on the nature of the subject. Depending on the nature of the subject, we use either has or have. Right? Then verb in the third form plus object. Verb in the third form plus object. For example, Sheila has learned grammar. Here, Sheila is singular. That's why we use has. Third form of verb, learned. Object is grammar. Here, the rule subject plus had plus verb in the third form plus object. I have learned grammar. Sheila has learned grammar. Now, I take you to simple future tense. Dear students, when do you use simple future tense? Simple future tense is used to refer to events that will happen in the future. That will happen in the future. For example, rule. Subject, there will be a subject. Will plus verb in the first form, then object. For example, Sheila is subject. Will learn is in the first form. Then grammar, that is the object. Sheila will learn grammar. One more example for you. We will learn grammar. They will learn grammar. Hari will learn grammar. Now, I take you to future continuous tense. Future continuous tense is also called future progressive tense. When do we use future continuous tense? That is very important. Future continuous tense will be used to refer to the action that will happen in the future at a specific amount of time and it will be continuing. To say that we use future continuous tense. Rule. In this future continuous tense there will be a subject will plus B form plus fourth form of verb will be there plus object. Example, Sheila will be learning grammar. Sheila is subject, will be, verb is fourth form, that is learning. Then grammar, Sheila will be learning grammar, I will be learning grammar, they will be learning grammar. This will be example for future continuous tense. Now, I take you to the future perfect tense. Dear students, when do we use future perfect tense? We use future perfect tense to talk about something that will be completed before a specific time in the future. The action will start and it will be completed in specific time in the future. For that purpose, we use future perfect tense. Rule of the future perfect tense. There will be a subject, will, plus have, plus verb in the third form. And then object. So rule you need to give more importance. We will have learned grammar. Sheila will have learned grammar. These are the examples for future perfect tense. Dear students, I am summing up all the 12 tenses in one table. Here is an example. <clears throat> in simple present tense, I run every day. Present continuous tense. I am running every day. Present perfect tense. I have run 4 kilometers. And present perfect continuous tense. I did not teach you that. But still I am giving you. I have been running. Simple past. <clears throat> I ran almost 2 miles. I was running every day. I had run 4 kilometers. This is past perfect. And I had been running. Past perfect continuous. In simple future, I will run two miles. Future continuous, I will be running every day. Future perfect, I will have run four kilometers. Future perfect continuous, I will have been running. So these are the examples. And one more example I give you, dear students. Simple present tense. Hari drinks coffee. Present continuous. Hari is drinking coffee. Present perfect. Hari has drunk coffee. Present perfect continuous, Hari has been drinking coffee. Simple past, Hari drank coffee, so verb in the second form. Past continuous, Hari was drinking coffee. Past perfect, 
Hari had drunk coffee. Past perfect continuous, Hari had been drinking coffee. In simple future, Hari will drink coffee. Future continuous, Hari will be drinking coffee. Future perfect, Hari will have drunk coffee. And future perfect continuous tense, Hari will have been drinking coffee. This table will help you to understand tenses. Dear students, now I am giving you exercises. Three sentences I give you. You change it into other tense forms. Shravan scores distinction. You need to change this into other tenses like present continuous, present perfect, simple past, past continuous, past perfect, simple future, future continuous, future perfect. Likewise, Mahesh and Nandini play chess. Shashidhar likes photography. So these three sentences, you need to change it into other tense forms. Dear students, I hope you have very well understood this. Keep watching SPSR's online learning classes. If you have not subscribed, press the subscribe button. Press the bell icon. You will get the notification whenever I send social and English modules. I wish you all the best. Thank you, dear teachers. Thank you, dear students. All the best.